Good morning, or actually nearly good afternoon. Uh, dear shareholders, uh, can I add my uh, welcome to you all to Nordea's annual general meeting? Uh, and we are, of course, privileged to have uh, uh, shareholders uh, right across Finland and the Nordic countries and further afield, with many following today's AGM online. Uh, and once again, a warm welcome to all of you in the room and online. This is my second AGM as chair of Nordea's board of directors. And I'm pleased to say that the positive view I held of Nordea and its people the first time around has been reaffirmed over the past 12 months. Last year, 2023, was another year in which Nordea proved itself to be strong, profitable and predictable even if the market conditions and economic environment were anything but. Recent years have, of course, as we all know, presented many challenges to our public health, to our economies, our security. And of course, we have all witnessed the distressing situation that has unfolded, unfolded in the Middle East, and not to mention uh, the continuing and immense suffering that Russia has inflicted on the people of Ukraine. And the macroeconomic picture also continues to be one of considerable uncertainty. Following a period of persistent inflation and a rate hike cycle, unlike anything in recent years, uh, these have all tested us and our societies. Economic growth has remained weak, largely due to subdued consumer confidence and reduce spending in the face of these pressures. Uh, yet nevertheless, Nordic labor markets have shown strong resilience, with the region continuing to experience relatively low unemployment. And as we all know, the Nordic, Nordic region is home to a reliable and profitable banking sector, one which is well equipped to weather downturns, and financial market disturbances. And we saw another demonstration of this resilience last spring following the failure of certain banks in the United States and Switzerland. The turbulence turned out to be little more than a footnote here in the Nordic region. Nordea is well equipped to navigate turbulence. We have a stable, strong and resilient business model and a diversified loan portfolio spread across the Nordic regions. The formula delivered again in 2023 with strong income development and high profitability combined with strong credit quality and capital generation. And with this position, Nordea has continued to invest significantly in future growth, including building one of the best digital offerings in the industry. Crucially, we are also making good progress in our ambition to be a leader in sustainability, working closely with customers to drive sustainable change in the real economy. And in these uncertain times, the risk is that the world loses sight of the critical importance of driving climate action. However, the challenges we face should motivate improvement rather than a retreat from commitments. And that is certainly Nordea's view. And you can expect our group to continue to work hard to deliver on our ambitious sustainability targets. And very important here is our size and scale, because with size and scale comes greater impact, be it through our lending, our investments, or our internal operations. And for example, last year, Nordea was the Nordic region's largest facilitator of sustainable financing and the largest provider of Nordic corporate sustainable bonds. We are always looking to strengthen our practices and our reporting. And to this end, we continue to have a good dialogue with various shareholders and stakeholders, and we work to ensure that our actions are both in line with regulatory requirements and giving the group the best opportunity to encourage a more impactful transition for customers and society. We appreciate our recent dialogue with Academica Pension regarding 
further reporting of climate-relating risks uh, and continue to develop our reporting and engagement strategy. And we have also engaged in good dialogue with Greenpeace and other NGOs who are putting forward a shareholder proposal today in relation to our Articles of Association, and we welcome them uh, uh, to the room. Uh, we share the strong sentiment on climate change and agree with the importance of reducing emissions and mitigating negative climate and nature effects. However, uh, we cannot recommend the adoption of the proposed amendment as, among other things, the forced curtailing of customer relationships, we believe, uh, would negatively impact our ability to serve our customers and Nordic society as a whole and limit our ability to encourage an impactful climate transition for our customers and society. Nordea's financial results last year uh, made us one of the strongest bank performers in Europe. The good progress is positive news, we believe, for all stakeholders. As a strong business, we have a great capacity to support customers, which is our job. We also present an attractive place for our 30,000 employees to grow and to develop. And for shareholders, of course, we are and will try to continue to provide attractive returns. Over the last four years, Nordea has steadily increased its dividend per share with high payout ratios in line with our policy and the best in the Nordic region. And today, the AGM is asked to authorize the board to decide on a dividend payment of 92 euro cents per share in line with our policy. The dividend underscores Nordea's position as a leading bank for shareholder returns. And of course, behind the strong business performance stand Nordea's employees, led by Frank and his exceptional leadership team. And I, I would like to extend my warm thanks, but those also of the whole board, and I hope uh, of all shareholders, to our Nordea team for their great work and to commend them on the achievements in 2023 and, of course, to encourage even better achievements in the coming years. At Nordea, we are striving to build a financial services group, not only for today, but for the next generation. We're very happy with Nordea's performance and trajectory, but still we have no intention of slowing down. We believe we have the right strategy, an exceptional leadership team, and ambition. We want to be the best in Europe, the best for customers and the best for shareholders and the best for society around us. A goal that is both ambitious and we hope realistic. Dear shareholders, today we also have two members leaving the board. Beria Steen has served on the board since 2015 and I would like to thank him for all his contributions over the past decade to our bank. And Hans Christian Riese has served as an employee elected member on the board for the past 11 years. And I wish to thank also him for his dedicated work on the board. The shareholders nomination board is proposing a new member to the board, Lars Röder, whom I would like to welcome to the meeting. Uh, and he will introduce himself later on, as well as the employee elected new deputy member of the board, Jürgen Solönquist. For my part, I'm strongly committed to this bank, to serving and fulfilling my duties as chair, and I'm standing for re-election. Now, before handing over to the chair of the meeting, I would like to just present uh, my board colleagues to you, uh, together with the proposed uh, board member, and they will each bob up and down uh, so you can see who they are as we go through. So first, Petra van Herken, Risto Murto, known to many of you, I'm sure, Lena Skola, Biria Steen, Per Stromberry, 
Jonas Sinegren, Arya Talma, Shasti Wickland, and of course, our proposed new board member, Lars Roeder. And may I also present the employee elected board members, Joanna Koskinen, Gerhard Olsen, Hans Christian Riese, Kasper Skovgaard Pedersen, and the new deputy member, Jürgen Sue Lundquist. And of course, on the podium, uh, as hopefully you all know, we have our excellent President and Chief Executive Officer, Frank Van Jensen. So once again, welcome to the AGM, now officially declared open. I propose that Lagman Johan Alto acts as the chair of the AGM, if that is to everyone's satisfaction. Terrific. Over to you, Johan. Thank you. <laughs>